Montreal is a sophisticated international city with plenty of restaurants serving a taste of Europe and beyond. But for me, the most exciting food in town comes from cooking that is purely Canadian. I'm taking Nadia to a place where they do my kind of cooking, but not really her kind of eating. She proudly considers herself a meat and potatoes girl. Awesome. And this place serves amazing dishes, using ingredients like raw horse's heart, pig livers, and deer kidneys, garnished with a sprinkle of dried blood. The restaurant is called DNA. The chef is Derek Damon. His philosophy is, if you're gonna kill an animal for food, you should eat all of it. He likes to cure and age his own salumi, right in his wine cellar. So we do cured blood from Valdosta. We do liver, goat livers in the style of uh, tuna heart from Sardinia. This is induja, cured in the pig's stomach. Oh, man. I don't care how much you've eaten all day long, you smell this smell, you get really hungry really fast. No sooner said than done. Derek brings us into the kitchen to feed us horse heart tartare on a bed of horse's tongue. So the one thing that's a little bit different instead of like the actual like steak tartare is where you chop it. Uh, this one, we put it through the grinder because of the protein structure of the, of the heart. It's a little bit tougher. Right. So we, we grind it, it comes out very, very smooth. And the flavor of that muscle is Yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. Ground horse's heart mixed with foie gras and homemade Dijon style mustard. You guys make your own mustard here? Yeah, we get the seeds come from Saskatchewan. Mm. In fact, just about everything in this kitchen is homegrown. Derek doesn't just want his food to taste good. That is a stunner. He wants it to taste like Canada, and Canadians really appreciate good horse meat. Oh, yeah. It tastes like tartare. So you were worried coming in here. Yeah, I was a little worried, yeah. I gotta admit. That's seriously rock star food. You know what horse tartare does for me? What? It gets me in the mood for a pig liver parfait. <laughs> this block terrine of pig livers is part of a mix of ingredients that will make your heart scream for mercy. It's uh, 800 grams of liver, 800 grams of foie gras, 16 eggs, and 1,600 grams of butter. There's also a hefty dose of cheddar cheese bread. That is delicious. The bread seriously should be illegal. It just melts in your mouth. Well, as if the pork in there wasn't enough, the cheese is, I mean, it's breakfast in a loaf. Memo to anyone serving up a pig liver terrine. Set up that incredibly rich taste with something bright and sharp, like berries from a sea buckthorn. This is foreplay. This is making a baby, and you need both. So far, Nadia is liking these organ meat courses way better than she expected. That's Derek's secret weapon, an unintended consequence of his talent. His food is so good, even skeptics will try it and like it. We have the uh, pressed foie gras, a little bit of grilled ciabatta, lemon toast, and tripe with parmesan. This is tripe with something extra, a dash of vanilla. That's really tasty. This is definitely the best tripe I've ever had. Well, that's, that's good. Sure. Thank you very much. That's really good. Really, really nice. Mm. And the vanilla sort of takes away the boiled dog smell that <laughs> everyone's so afraid of. I'm one of those few people that kind of likes that. Yeah, me too. A little too. bit of gamey, raunchy. You know. But there's a certain reality to it, you know? Our final entree is one of my favorites. Venison kidney served with polenta, topped with something very special. Dried venison blood for a little extra earthiness. As per requested. Oh my gosh. That's pretty good. Whoo! That's intense venison kidney. I mean, the, it's chewy and... The polenta underneath ties everything together. It's very subtle. It's nice seasoning. Mm-hmm. You just can't get that intense mineral flavor anywhere else. Wow, that was awesome. I don't eat much blood, I yeah. must say. <laughs> it's I do. <laughs> At DNA, you can even get blood for dessert. It's Derek's version of the classic Italian custard, panna cotta. God, that is beautiful. To balance the bloody sweet custard, there's a plate of Sour Patch coxcombs right off the rooster. Have you eaten coxcombs before? I've never eaten this before. It's one of my favorite foods. Before. 
pig blood panna cotta. Yeah, it's all the same thing as using pig blood as a thickener. We put a little bit of cocoa, lemon zest, black pepper, tiny bit of vanilla, and then the huckleberries look like blood. You know what I like about this? Well, sometimes with the blood, you get a bitter flavor, but the cocoa just complements that and just brings you deeper in that end. The cocoa kind of blends really well with it. You can't even tell. Well, I'll tell you where you can tell is the texture, which is vastly improved by using the blood. Because everyone uses blood as a thickener for thousands of years. This allows you to use less dairy, less egg. That's really nice. Not everything on DNA's menu is quite this bold, but diners are routinely offered a plate of these sweet and sour coxcombs at the end of a meal. Wow, that's pretty brilliant, I gotta say. It, it has the same exact texture as a um, Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, simple syrup, beet juice and blood orange juice, mm -hmm. sugar and uh, citric acid. Ooh. That's really good. And it's actually a great way to finish your meal because after a lot of the rich food that you have, I mean, my whole body smiled after eating this. This rebooted me. DNA is all about marrying bold creativity and the idealism of classic Canadian cooking. La Banquise is all about cheap, easy food and the carnival of a busy restaurant. This is more Nadia's turn, a crazy, crowded place serving wacky versions of that Montreal favorite, poutine, 24 hours a day. Oh, my gosh. The perfect ambiance for meeting her co-stars on Bitch and Kitchen. Hey. Panos, the Greek fishmonger, Hans, the fitness freak correspondent, and Yeris, the spice agent. Yeah, this is our sixth stop. We've been eating like savages. It's yeah. been Olympic eating. It's I mean, been Olympic. Um, Oddly, we're ending up with food that's a little more mainstream. A little less dried blood garnish and a little more <laughs> potato and gravy. Yeah, a little more potato. But what's interesting, and there is something in common there, because what the food was at DNA was basically the poor man's cuisine brought to another level. Very Here, traditional. Same deal. Poutine is the broke ass meal of champions. Poutine at La Banquise means French fries with ham and pineapple, or with turkey and peas, or with beef, pepperoni, bacon, and smoked sausage. That's serious, yeah. Get, yeah. get in on that. That's some seriously meaty stuff. You know what this tastes like? School lunch counter. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, what this yeah. tastes like? Cafeteria? Bad pizza. <laughs> and I mean that in the two most complimentary ways. Yeah. Nostalgic ways. Correct. Comfort food ways. The food here may be comforting. The company, a little less so. Eating poutine in Montreal is a very big tradition, but we do have another huge tradition here in Montreal, which is... The smallest guy in Montreal always unless was the biggest, which is you today. Woo! My day just went officially out of control. Wait. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? One, sure. two, three, go! Uh, the... oh, that's go, baby. That's it. That's what you need. <laughs> It's fantastic. Yeah.